This week we've got we got fennel with tops. We've got uh, this is red ruby chard, and we've got a lot more. But uh, these are some hawk rye turnips, and this is our carrots. Now we do carrots with tops so people know that it's fresh. But what you want to do is uh, is take the tops off when you get them. And what you can do with the tops is make a pesto. You can also, I'm going to, let's go ahead and add that together with the fennel. Let's do that first. So all I do is wherever it's bound, it's, it's bound together, I've already washed it. I just cut that off. Let's throw it in there. So we're going to use that. <clears throat> and so that's not too bad. Let's do another one here. And let's see what it ends up like with the fennel. Now fennel is same plant family. And this is a really underused vegetable. These are, we call these mini fennels. This time of year, they don't really set big bulbs, right? Uh, but they're really tasty and it's really good. It's, you know, in the Wilmington area, especially with fish, because it's light, you kind of use it like an onion. And the top is fennel, like the herb of fennel. So we're gonna use all that. We're gonna save that. I'm gonna put this in there on this one. And you can, the stem, I use a lot of the stem when I'm processing the bulb part and I use that. So we're gonna go with this for now. Uh, the, a lot of people know how to do this uh, with, your, <clears throat> with your garlic. Just, I like to cut that little, that little stem part off and then just pop it. And now you've got, let's put a little bit of garlic in there. Everybody knows how to do this. This is Food Network stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Rachel Ray. Man, I used to love Food Network. Emerald and Rachel Ray and and all that going back to the beginning. We got some olive oil from Aldi's. Avocado oil, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, we need some salt, some pepper, and we didn't get any nuts, so we're gonna pretend that these are walnuts or pine nuts. Pecans are good, but the these, are, these are peanuts. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I've never used peanuts before. Uh, for some quick lemon without the, the seeds in it, this will, I just cut the end off. Do a little squeeze there. You can also use the zest. You always want to drizzle slow when you make these emulsions. Uh, something to remember. I think that's pretty good. All right, give it a taste, my man. Hold up. Here, wait a minute. Let me get you a spoon. I have no idea. Really? But I bet it is. I know it's fresh. Oh yeah. Hey, this is way good. Well, it's a little bitter, a little earthy. Huh. Not bad, though. That would be good with peanuts. I mean, this is with peanuts, too. You know, this uh -huh. isn't the proper one, too. You know? Not bad. Not bad. All right. So we're going to put that on something. Whoop. I might need a little bit of sugar or something in that. And that's, that'll be for you. But that's good stuff right there. Yeah. Let's put that on. Some, oh, yeah. that, And it's going to get better. That's the I can tell already in my mouth. It's, it gets better with age. That's, that's going to be nice. Even though some crazy ingredients, I don't. I'm surprised it's not more fennelly, because yeah. I was kind of expecting that. That's nice. 